Hello to everyone. Uh, I'm gonna show a comparison between two tomographies of the same person, a 69 years old female patient. Uh, she has a cardiac failure uh, mildly, uh, but the uh, real reason uh, why the tomography had been taken uh, for uh, in the August uh, in the August time uh was shortness of breath but not so much anyways in this tomography we're gonna see lung edema collected in the uh, at the lower section lower sections of the both sides of both lungs and this is the first image of the chest tomography and lower sections of both sides it can be seen obviously seen the collections of the uh, fluids fluid uh, that have been uh, that have gone uh, downwards this is the first uh, tomography that I'm gonna show to you and the second one uh, this is the second one that we just took half an hour ago 8th of March 2021 uh, just 15 days ago uh, she had her shot COVID-19 uh, vaccine, vaccination and then in just 15 days I just want to show you how lungs have been deteriorated and in a great possible by the vaccine itself as it can be easily there are lots of emphysemas all around The long-term effects of the vaccination have deteriorated, has deteriorated the lungs at both sides. In just 15 days, um, I just want to emphasize that I was expecting to see in the long term, like six months or something like that, but just 15 days is enough time to to make its effects. Uh, I'm highly suspicious that aspartame of the virus uh, is responsible for the deterioration uh, of the effects on the body, uh, especially in the lungs. There are obvious differences between two tomographies, and in just uh, she came to me uh, for. Her, uh, with, the, with the complaints of shortness of breath, breathing. I'm gonna take PCR results once more again to confirm that she had not been uh, caught to uh, to the to another form of coronavirus. But instead, I am highly suspicious that this is the results of the vaccination. I'm going downwards and I'm going upwards right now. This is the uh, heart. Uh, these are all the effects of the uh, uh, after effects of the vaccine. Uh, and it's kind of type 4 hypersensitive reaction caused by the aspartame. Uh, of the virus. That's why I just wanted to, uh, just want wanted to uh, emphasize that the black science should not produce as proteins of the virus. Instead of that, it should be, it should have been uh, another part of the virus, uh, like, such like uh, RNA polymerase or some, some, something like that, but not as protein. Moderna's vaccine is uh, producing as proteins 
uh, why I'm using mRNAs and uh, it is the worst choice for preparing a vaccine in my opinion. It should be targeted in other proteins such kind of uh, as I told you, RNA per polymerase or such kind of things, or maybe viral, viral RNA, but not the S protein, not the capsid protein, not the shell protein of the virus. Just in 15 days. Deterioration of the lungs is uh, completely obvious. Just as I suspected long before, she came to me with the uh, complaints of uh, unavoidable, uh, unavoidable uh, hypertension, blood pressure increase, besides shortness of breathing, and no other, uh, no other symptoms such as I mean, no, no other. Uh, uh, complaints including the heart attack or other kind of things uh, existing right now with her body soon after being uh, 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 including this she has a thyroid problem and that was uh, uh, what I was concerned about I was uh, uh, I was thinking that uh, the people who are much more susceptible to the autoimmune diseases are much more uh, susceptible for, for the side effects of the vaccinations and that's why I'm recommending uh, to make a genetic analysis before uh, vaccinating people.